Hey guys, welcome to an Ace Review. We're looking for the long-awaited Masters of the Universe Classic Ultimate Figures. We have a full case right here of all five figures. We have Ultimate He-Man, Ram Man, um, Skeletor, Faker, and Tila. Let's uh, get this open and we'll check out their packaging. Alright guys, got them unboxed. And each one of them is coming in this mailer similar to we've seen before in the cardboard color and um, so yeah quick look and then um, and just some basic info in the back so pretty tall they're much taller than the uh, typical hear me switch one your typical classics version there so from bottom to top they're quite a I'd say about three inches taller same width wide so let me get them out and we'll check them out okay guys we're back we got them out of their mailers now we're gonna check out the packaging real quick it's very vintage style. It's like uh, the 80s toys that we had. Um, you can kind of see with this with the six inch figure, these are heavier, bigger blister bubble on there and everything. So they had kind of a reinforcement piece up there. You can kind of see the texture of it there. So Masters of the Universe He-Man, um, Ultimate Edition, Adult Collector, Most Powerful Man in the Universe. There's a face shot up here. It looks like he does have more brown wash. I want to say it looks like these figures are with first time collectors and also um, people who had the previous releases that there's enough variations. Hold on a second. Okay, and so it looks like there's enough uh, variation with some of them like we're gonna see paint differences it's not just the exact same one it looks like all the he-man heads have a browner hair wash to them you can see his axe he has the different power swords there the half sword the power sword the alcala style um, from what I understand there is actually like a cardboard piece back there to look like one of the mini comics came with the original figures and got a shield down there so, um, then the card back art. Okay, here's a quick run run back on here. Feel free to pause anything if you want to look anything. I'm gonna kind of run through these. So that's He-Man. Here's Tila. The top is the same Tila. The different um, head versions there. Okay, back of her card art. Okay. Here's Ram Man. A lot of people had been. Um, upset about the choice of armor color um, saying that it's a flat gray. I'm gonna say it's not a flat gray it's slightly metallic it's not just a flat gray plastic at all um, in hand it definitely does not look that way but it's definitely not as gunmetal looking as um, the original classics version so there's quite a variation if you do have the original one again there's gonna be enough difference there's the head that most people don't really display him with, but I guess it's fun to have that option. Here's his axe. So, there's his card back. Okay. You can change his head just like it shows on there. Alright, Faker. I'm really excited to get these. See, I didn't have I don't have the original He-Man, the original Skeletor, 
or Tila or Faker. So I was happy to get some of these core characters again. I'm glad Super 7 re-released them. Uh, so I had a chance to get them at a retail price. These are, I think they're 30, 35, something like that. Has some stuff in here that Faker hasn't had before. He has his half sword and power sword. Has the classic head. And of course he comes with like the vintage toy style head up there. And uh, robot face and then the uh, his battle axe and Alcala style sword. So that's pretty cool. He has his card back there. There's that. And Skeletor. So, with his face, I guess it's not... See, I prefer the vintage style where it has like the green around the edges. Which, I have that on the battle armor version. That's my favorite style of the classic head. So I was kind of worried about this, but I guess it, it doesn't look too bad. And then there's the there's the Keldor, the Alcala style. I'm excited about that one. And he has his half sword, his scepter, he has a cape in there, and Alcala style power sword and everything too. So the green tones look pretty good in there. So let's get these out and we'll do some comparisons with some of the figures I do have so stay tuned hey guys I wanted to show you what I do sometimes sometimes with like NECA 7 inch figures and um, different various figures that don't come in boxes that come on bubbles like this I do this thing where um, I cut the bottom and then down across and up top leave this here as your hinge and now this, it will work for these, but it won't work for the normal classic figures. See, the normal ones, they kind of cut down and do this sort of thing where these go straight down. So this should be able to just pull straight out. So it's kind of, a, you can use it like a resealable package like that. Hold on a second. Yep, there you go. And then you can put them back in there if you want. So, just real quick, wanted to show you that. That's how I'm going to open all mine. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, before we look at the figures, I wanted to show you in their um, tray when I slip, when I pulled these out. Uh, as you can see, I have them. So, I did that. I opened them all in a way that I could pull the tray out at the bottom, put them back in if I wanted to. So, um, there's the artwork. Behind there, it looks kind of like a mini comic, but on the back of each one is a new bio. So let's check those out real quick. You can pause that and look at it if you want. Okay, here's Ram Man. And Faker. Those are the five bio cards. Looks like they're brand new bios. So, um, first up, we'll get He Man. I want to say right off after feeling these figures, they have really nice feeling. Um, you know how they they have like the hard plastics and the rubbers and the different stuff. The uh, the rubber pieces like the head, the the uh, chest straps and everything. That you know everything is real nice. The loincloth flexible and just all the hard plastics and everything. A nice feeling, nice tight joints. Paint apps really nice. Some slight flesh tones on his arms and yeah so and then also he has his battle axe pretty much the same thing as previous releases um, he has a half sword 
similar to previous releases than this Alcala style power sword. And he's holding the the classic power sword with his shield, which clips on real nice. And um, here's a quick comparison. I don't have the original classics, but I do have the battle armor, which is pretty much the the same head. You can see the hair colors. How these new ones have quite a bit more brown wash into them. And um, oh, it's it's a little different. I wouldn't say it looks bad. It's not exactly what I was expecting. Um, like I said, these definitely seem like they're coming off as being a little different for those who already have them. But kind of like a middle in between for people who, like for me, this is my first time I'm getting this actual He-Man. I just had the Battle Armor version before. Real quick, I'll show you their heads. That was the vintage style head that you've been seeing. Heads pop on real nice. This is the classics version. Um, this time it looks like they're trying to do what they were doing originally at the first release. With the red around the eyes, this has a very slight red. Which looks okay. I think it looks pretty decent. But yeah, you can definitely see the dark wash in the hair. And you have this version as well. Is this supposed to be like the Ular version, I'm guessing? Like more of the Alcala style P-Man. Paint apps, everything looks real nice. So that's He-Man. And okay, move on to I'll tell you what, let's do the Heroic Warriors first. Here's Tila. I never had her before. She has a real nice feel to her. The flexible pieces, the harder pieces and everything. Articulation's all real nice. And this time she has like a gold staff. Now I, I had gotten the, um, well, let me get it real quick, the weapons pack accessories. So if I wanted to, I can go for a more red look, which the cobra staff, the snake, and the, or the, sorry, the shield and the sword are all different colors. So I can kind of mix and match them if I want. And um, joints all seem really nice and tight, not too tight. And so, oh, there's a close up of her head. Of course, this comes out if you want. Um, on the top there. And that just goes on the helmet. This is kind of the classic Tila that I always had. Like I used to have that little dinner tray when I was a kid. And um, so that's how I always see her with the Cobra thing, even though she wasn't like that in the filmation. So there's this one. The hair detail looks real nice. Again, I'm sure the hair is a little varied from the paint apps and stuff. One thing, it looks like I have some white paint splotches there. I'll have to work on that. Hopefully that'll scrape off easy. So there she is with that version of her head. Oop. And then here's the blonde, more of a blonde look. Again, the hair detail looks really nice. The paint apps, real nice and clean. Whoops. And um, then here's her more red haired version, if you prefer that. Which is the same. Okay, yeah, these are the same, just different hair color. And she also comes with this staff. And 
Um, this version of the sword has the gold and maroon both on it. So, all in all, I'm pretty pleased with her. I'm glad to have Tila. Okay, Ram Man. The controversy. Here we go. I'm definitely still going to stick with my... This is not just a flat gray. It looks like the plastic is slightly metal. It has a slight, slight sheen to it just to make it enough that it's not just a flat gray. And then I'll compare it to um, the original. This is the card back style artwork, or based off the card back artwork where he has the, the brown boots, the red and the orange, all the gray armor and everything. Um, his head pulls off nice. You can ooh, pop the pop the other one on. And again his his uh, very nice soft rubber there so that you can get a little more articulation there out of him if you want. Chest works really well and everything. Um, Here's the regular classics version. You get some shots with it, just different enough that makes them pretty unique. And even the metal, like the armor, uh, it looks better in person to me, in my opinion. I think it looks okay. I don't think it looks just like a flat gray. It has a, a slight sheen to it. One thing I wanted to notice too, at least in my classics version, the act the axe is really hard to pull out, but in this one, I don't know if it's something they fixed or if it's just mine, it comes out with ease, just perfect. So. and just great. So yeah, there's Ram Man. Okay, um, let's do Skeletor. There's a nice close-up of his face. I'm going to say with his armor and stuff, it feels, it looks really great. Like all the textures and the, the nice rubbery pieces on it. and um, Definitely feels like it's all a solid rubber. And you can see he has the different style of boots. Um, it almost looks like feathers kind of a fur sort of look to it. All the different nice metallic version, the different metallic uh, pieces on the belt. Okay, and then we have the um, Alcala style Skeletor head. There's a close-up of that. That looks really nice. That'll definitely be a favorite of mine. And the other cool feature with this is he can be Keldor. And so he has this detachable headpiece as well that can go on. So there's that. And if you want it, you can you know, try the other heads on too with the cape. So you can have like a Skeletor with the with the cape on. Of course the back shows, or the other one, the hair covers it up. So that would be kind of weird, but if you're displaying them, it wouldn't be a big deal. Very cool. I like that. One other thing I wanted to note too is on the arms. He has a different style of arms than usual. 
um, I don't know why they went with the, those styles here. Here is the battle armor version I have seen. Now this is how I like his head to be painted with the green highlights around the edge. Like that. Kind of like the vintage one because that's kind of what I grew up with. So I like that. But this isn't too bad either. I don't mind that. It has the green highlights in it. It looks okay. I prefer the other one, but I like the variation of it, I guess. So, see the difference here with the Skeletor arms versus the newer release, the boots. So, that's that. As far as comparisons go, I don't have, I never had Faker, so can't do a comparison of of him. Here he is. I didn't notice him. He has like a nice, like the paint amps on his face are really good. And I'll show you the um, one on the classics one. He has a nice, um, instead of that red around the eyes, it's like a slight blue, darker blue. So it looks really, really cool. So, you can see some differences um, with his belt. It has the matte black with the shiny black instead of like the silver um, of the regular classics version. I'm just familiar with seeing the pictures, so that's how I know. And um, there's his boots. It's all, uh, all the newer style joints. So all the ankle joints seem really nice tight and um, and then his armor's all orange with the metallic orange highlights on there. There's this clip the clip on shield there. Seems to work pretty well. And he comes with besides the classic power sword there is a half sword and an Alcala style sword each with the all in orange plastic with the metal metallic looking paint on him and a battle axe. Did he have a battle axe before? I'm not sure he did. But so that's really cool. And then we have the uh alternate heads here. So let me show you that. So first we have the vintage style one. Classic style one. And then this the robotic version here. Speaking of that, we have his, um, let me get his harness off here, we have the, I'll show you a piece on the chest. So, again, the, the rubber they use for all the harnesses seem really nice, real nice flexible rubber, good paint apps and everything. And, um, so, well, that's my review on these. I hope that helps you guys uh, get a better look at them. Um, hit like, subscribe, and uh, check out some more Ace Reviews. Thank you.